the question is, is the West making a mistake right now by wagging its finger and saying, don't you dare, the, the, the Vladimir Putin, you will pay a severe price. And that's coming from the White House. It's coming from NATO, you know, Stoltenberg, everybody. But, you know, should there be another approach to this? And a lot of people think that the only approach that you could you could take to dissuade Putin would to be make promises of no NATO, NATO membership. Um, and nobody's going to do that. Right. So, you know, what the Russians are asking for from both Ukraine and the United States is both impossible and probably going to be insufficient for, for them, right? Because we've seen promises uh, made before that get walked back, like the neutrality clause that used to be in Ukraine's constitution. So I don't see how that's going to solve the problem. It's not going to be sufficient. Um, I think the real problem with the finger wagging is insofar as they're not sending clear enough signals. The signal they end up sending is we will go so far and not further. And so far and not further is not going to deter. Uh, when, and if you're trying to rely on strategic ambiguity, if you're trying to rely on this idea that, well, maybe it'll be much worse, well, the Russians are willing to escalate. The Russians are pretty sure they're more willing to escalate than Western countries are. And they think the Ukrainians are weaker and that taking and occupying parts of Ukraine will be easier than they probably will be. So put these things together and you, know, you, have, you have a problem. 